Hello everybody, super quick update here on our my time here in Georgia. So I end up coming to an area that's an hour away of um, where I'm staying, it's called Liburn. And um, go to a meeting from the church and then, oops, I have to put my seat down. And then um, I am supposed to meet a friend, Maria, you know, for a quiet time, cough time girls time and we end up coming we're thinking we're coming to a quiet cough place from Venezuela and we end up in a plaza it's called Plaza Las Americas I park I see all these cars um, and I'm like what is this and music and then um, people yeah this really got my heart wearing this t-shirt saying El Diablo which is the devil imagine and it was around 50 of them. I, I, this boldness just came on me, which is, you know, if you know me, you know how to, yeah, anyways, you know that that's not really my thing, but when it's for the Lord, right? If it's for souls, we gotta do what it better do. So I went boldly and I asked for a mic. They didn't have a mic. He's like, yeah, he tried to find a mic for me. <laughs> it's like, there is no mic. I'm like, okay, I just wanna tell them a word from God. So they called me there. And I just, in a nutshell, shared the gospel, the cross, resurrection, repentance, and, you know, obviously the crown got thinner. Mm, it was maybe 50 of them, and they kept leaving, and maybe 15 or 20 stayed. But they still professed Jesus. They, they received prayers, a prayer, a prayer, salvation. They gave their hearts, you know. I preached repentance, and it was beautiful. So after that, my friend arrived, and we kept on the journey. I had never experienced any thing like this in my life in Florida I've never seen this this is a whole plaza they don't even have anything translated in English all the food all the businesses everything it's I felt like I was in a Latin America country which I've just been to Brazil I've never been you know any Hispanic nation so it was just um, it was a setup from the Lord and uh, we preached the gospel in a little restaurant maybe two or three people gave their hearts to Jesus but everybody heard and then in the food court and then uh, 101 um, in the food court we end up preaching to a family three people gave their hearts to Jesus uh, and then like just sowing seeds because yeah it was a little interesting it was just very different uh, then a young man God showed me his uh, his life like the call and he was very receptive, very receptive, and um, also gave his heart to Jesus. Um, uh, they're from North Carolina. So, um, yeah, I didn't really count numbers, but I would say maybe, yeah, because they crowned, I don't know if it was 10 or 15 of them, and then in the supermarket, and then inside, maybe total 20, 25, something around that. But the thing is, they need Jesus, guys. So, if you are in Georgia and in the area of Liburn, come to this plaza. I was interpreting my French. She had words of knowledge for this other family. And we're just like hammering the words of knowledge and then the gospel. Yeah, it was just... So anyways, come. If you have a heart for, uh, you have a heart for Latin America, for nations, you, you will be like, you feel you're literally in another country. I kid you not. <laughs> yeah, so to God be the glory, please pray for us. Yeah, I need all the intercession I can get. <laughs> but God is good. He's amazing. He surprises us and He takes care of everything. So, share Jesus. America needs, the world needs. Uh, and when I say America needs, I mean all these immigrants here as well. It's the whole world is here, guys. And it's not just in Florida. I thought it was just Florida. It's everywhere. America is ripe. Hey! America is ripe. Let's do it. God bless you. Bye.